I'm going to show you how to make cotton candy wine. I'm going to dissolve this cotton candy with some water, some spring water. We got one pound of cotton candy. We got one gallon. We're doing a one gallon batch. Fill this pot about halfway full of spring water. Once your water's good and hot, it comes to close to a boil, you start dissolving this. It dissolves pretty quick, pretty easily. Open right there. It dissolves almost immediately. Now you basically make a simple syrup like you do with anything else. Trying to dissolve all those sugars into that water. It up, son. Snort the steam off the top. Once you get to a roaring bubble, once you're boiling, starts a rumbling good. I'd say you're good at dissolving that. So I go ahead and cut the heat off, let that cool down for a minute, and then we're gonna add it to our carboy. All right, we're going to use Lauvin EC1118. We're supposed to pitch it at 98.6 or between that and 95. This is about, this is about 97 degrees. You stir that in there, let it sit for a couple minutes. You pitch this you don't want to leave it set longer than 30 minutes unless you add some sugar to this you want to aerate it a little bit get it off the sides should be good couple minutes and be living we're gonna pour this in the carboy not too much man that's good that's enough to fill carboy yeah with the sugar, the volume ends up being more than a gallon. Blue Don't burn my damn hand. Move. There you go. Tilt it this way. Turn as possible. Yeah, we need 
need to perfect this. Get a damn pitcher. There you go. Until this cools down below 98 degrees so we don't kill that yeast or at least shock it into going back to sleep once that cools down we'll add our yeast we'll put the uh, airlock in it I put it in my hot ass garage for a couple weeks all right I'll let this cool down now I'm just going to add the yeast. Let that sit a couple weeks. And do what it does. All right, it's been a little over three weeks. We've got our cotton candy wine here. It's done bubbling, so it tells me it's that the yeast has ate all that sugar. I'm going to move it into a secondary. I'm gonna taste it. I tasted it about a week ago when it was still bubbling. It was one of the best things I ever tasted. It was awesome. This is the best taste of wine I've ever had in my life. But it's been a week. Let's see how it changed. Move it over here. If you do it just right, you can avoid all that sludge and you don't need a secondary but that's sometimes if you get lucky we got lucky today I'm gonna try it again that's good that's fucking good it's dry, but it tastes like cotton candy. That's better than any wine you're ever going to drink anywhere else. Cotton candy wine? That's fucking awesome. I'm going to bottle it. Hell, I might drink it all right now. That's good shit. <laughs>